Hey all, this is Myth from Millennial Fantasy. In this video I want to tell you about my experience of the first fight of Eden's Gate on normal mode, from the perspective of a World of Warcraft refugee who is relatively new to Final Fantasy XIV. This is my first attempt at this fight on this difficulty, and I wanted to share it with you so both of us can learn from my mistakes. Two of my free company members are in this group as well to help out. Please consider liking, subscribing and hitting that bell icon. If you have any feedback about this format of video, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into it. So let me start off with the premise that 1. I did watch a video guide beforehand and 2. I mean this room looks amazing. Absolutely great. So, as I said in the intro, I have two of my free company members joining me for this fight and this is my first time. I've seen it in a video once, I'm not gonna say I didn't pay attention, but you know, I haven't seen it that much. We start off the fight with a pretty much general, standard Final Fantasy fight, where I am obviously the first one who still has to complete this duty. Um, but it seems rather static, right? We have a single boss mob that we need to kill before it kills us. Well, so we dive into the standard rotation. I've actually been practicing my rotation at 80 because I've only recently gotten to level 80 and most of the actual content I do is either 60 or 70 synced content. So I felt I needed some more practice on my rotation at 80, which is definitely still not perfect. At the time of recording, I actually changed my hotkeys around because those were giving me some trouble. Um, but these troubles will be apparent as we go. So you see, I put my lane lounge down there and at that point I get this vice of apathy thing. And I'm too late to run into the circle because I'm slowed for a reason that I do not understand. And then I die. Luckily, there's one of my free company members and he instantly rises me, so I'm back in the game. Well, you see these two red markers on the tanks. Um, obviously, those are dodged by not standing in front of the boss, which is sort of a general, you know, tactic as a DPS. I'm trying to get back in my rotation after that embarrassing death and trying to get some fire force on this mob to see if we can actually do some damage. At this point, he teleports to a side of the room, and I remember from the video that if that happens, I should stand behind the boss. Well, there's enough time in that pure light cast here to actually stand behind him, and obviously you just follow your fellow raid members, so that isn't too difficult. His health is dropping fairly quickly, even though my damage is likely poor, and at this point we have these, like, spam of markers and aoe's that we should just dodge right so you get these four corners and people should try and not overlap their markers as they walk into it which was done uh, pretty much fine in that case we have a aoe here and now the room changes you see all these orbs in the corners what i really underestimated here is that in general iterations of these aoe's and uh, they stay a lot longer and you still have like half a second of time to actually dodge but in uh, you know at level 80 things get a bit more difficult obviously because of gearing as well um and i just i just was way too slow there so i should have instantly stopped my attack and walked away we saw another stand behind the boss while he goes in the corner there someone reses me and we go on with our rotation obviously at this point I'm figuring I'm probably the only person who's done this for the first time. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. And it won't be the last main, trust me. So we get into this really awesome cinematic. And now we're in space. We have the same platform, but the aesthetics are a lot different. We get these two markers, and I see the rest of my group stacking up pretty much as far away as they can. I'm standing on the edge here. And you probably shouldn't do that because that gives you a lot of pain. And we get these two ads. We see Eden in the back doing pretty cool aesthetics. But at this point we're just focused on trying to kill these two mobs. Those really don't do much as far as I could tell. Other than maybe some, uh, some AoE damage. So we just AoE them down. 
and then we see Eden below us and now we get into this really interesting cool cinematic that apparently I've heard complaints about that you can't skip it um, but it's you know this is my first time seeing this oh this is my second time seeing this but this is this is really cool and I don't mind this I don't really get it because why is an attack that you sort of blast something out of the earth and into space you know there's not a lot of context to it which might have been okay because now we just get blasted into a random galaxy and there we have a uh, uh, like a darkness or black hole thingy forming eh, I don't really know what to make of it but it, it looks cool not gonna lie so after that crazy attack we're back in the room and we have Eden Prime, the boss, spawning again. There he is. All right, so we go back to our rotation. We have the tank splitting. Uh, we stand a bit on the side to make sure nothing bad happens. And here's the Spear of Paradise cast, which is actually you see him hitting the tank left and then right, which is just a regular tank buster. So if you're playing tank, then obviously pay attention now we have a going to the corner again so at this point we need to stand behind him at this point i am actually make one small step onto that ledge and i underestimate how painful it actually is because i was standing on it during that transition phase i thought it was eh, you know it hurts but i shouldn't stand in it but it's not that uh, dangerous yet but at this point i just instantly die so obviously that's uh, that's a problem so we see another marker phase where we just go into the corners. Obviously four of us were going in one corner, which made it a bit tight, but it was uh, fine in the end. Um, and now we have another dimensional shift going. So that's just regular AOE damage. Obviously, if you're a healer, then uh, this should be a problem. And here we go again. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I learned from my mistakes last time. I'm not going to cast. I'm just going to move and try and not to die. So I'm just moving around these markers attempting to not get hit by one not paying attention to my rotation whatsoever but you notice especially near the end there's a lot of overlap i made another step in the corner again and at this point i realized oh he's actually in the corner i need to be behind him and i'm a few seconds too late to actually stand behind him at this point so that is he's almost dead luckily the rest of the dps of the group wasn't that bad but and there he goes so that was the first fight of Eden's Gate that we just had a small chat about. Hopefully you guys, you know, learn from my really noobish mistakes. And obviously me explaining it to you will make my next attempt better, hopefully. It is a really aesthetically pleasing fight. You know, the boss looks cool. The room looks cool. The intermission aesthetics are really good. Um, and I'm looking forward to this one on Savage once I get it. One, a bit of gear, and two, a bit of experience with playing Black Mage at 80. I give someone a uh, player commendation and uh, we'll be off after this one. The ending room is pretty cool as well, some really cool aesthetics. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys like this more hands-on approach. You know me commentating over my one of my actual own fights and mistakes and Hopefully you guys can learn something from it. I know this is not the most recent fight, um, but I will be doing this as we go along so you guys can enjoy and hopefully learn something from it. So I've been Myth from Millennial Fantasy. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.